Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Cebu, the Philippines, and today we are gonna have lunch. It's a rare delicacy. It's gonna be a goat meal, but everything from the nose to the tail, and especially, they are famous for the head. Uh, 80 pieces a day. So this is an all goat restaurant. We're gonna see the process of how they cook that. That's a cool recipe. Uh, we're hanging out with a bunch of friends, especially my friend Carlo from Kalami Cebu. He's from here, he's so passionate about the local food and yeah it's gonna be an amazing goat meal and I'm gonna share all of the food every dish you're not gonna want to miss any of it it's all coming up right now in this video really quickly before we begin the video I just wanted to mention Kiva and Mark Ween's smoked ghost pepper powder it's one of my favorite all-time seasonings. Use it on just about everything. A nice dose. Mm. Oh, that smoky ghost. Smoked ghost pepper. It is available now, and there's a special offer going on. If you buy one bottle, you'll get a second bottle for free. So that's two bottles of smoked ghost pepper for the price of one for a limited time, uh, just the first 500 customers. You can buy it directly from the website, which is kivahealthfood.com, but I'll have the direct link in the description box below. And yeah, it really is one of my all-time favorite seasonings, and I use it on just about everything. So thank you so much for your incredible support, and let's get back to the video. So we are here like a little bit north of Cebu and uh, this place is famous for their goat. Really cool place like on the roadside, uh, family run and this is a busy place too. This is, oh man, you can already smell the aroma. We're gonna see a little bit of the process, see the dishes that they have, and we're definitely gonna eat some goat. We are starting from the, from the goat head, which is gonna skin first. This is the beginning process. I think as much as it can be kind of difficult to see the heads of animals or to see some of the slaughtering and butchering process, uh, what really stands out and what really we can respect is that Every part of the animal is eaten and consumed. Nothing goes to waste. And this restaurant particularly is known for their goat, known for their goat heads. And so to see this process and then we're gonna have a chance to eat the heads uh, is really, really special, really uh, a rare and unique delicacy here in Cebu. This is our specialty. We'll sell this uh, uh, 80 pieces a day, 80 pieces. Wow, um, 80 heads. 80 heads. 80 heads oh. a day. Oh, a day. Well, get some yeah, spicy. Yeah, later. Some yes. Goat head. We're gonna have goat action later. Goat action. Yeah, we're gonna have. We're gonna eat brains, eyes, cheeks. Yes. Good luck to us. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hey. Oh, pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. We'll get some more spices, huh? Okay. Yes. Tomato sauce? Yeah. Need more. Kalami, oh you ready ah. for some spicy? Yes. Oh, oh man. Yes, a, yes, yes. That's an amazing recipe. Green chilies, um, the little spicier chilies and then tomato sauce goes on. Uh, brown sugar. Is this soy sauce? Yeah. Okay. Soy sauce. Okay. Oops. It's now ready for cooking. Ma, almost one hour. I love how it's not actually uh, measured at all. He just handfuls of ingredients just pile it in. Um, and then it's gonna, I think they'll add probably some more liquid and then uh, boil that down until everything falls apart. The meat on the head is gonna just tenderize all those spices 
the chilies, the onions in there. That's a cool recipe, a goat head recipe. Uh, and that's gonna boil for over an hour. But in the meantime, they already have some prepared for this morning. But this kitchen is just amazing, oh man. There's so many blazing fires. Everything cooked open, over open fire. The smokiness, the wood fire. Man, the goaty aromas. There's goat feet, there's goat heads, there's goat parts. And they also serve a bunch of other dishes as well, which they're cooking back here. This is now the cooked version. Here. Oh, wow. This one. This one is our fish tinola. Okay. Um, this one is our goat caldereta, the body of the goat. Wow. Caldereta. Yeah. This is the skin and the liver of the goat. It's called what we call kilawin. Kilawin. Ah, okay. This is also what we call the baklai, the goat intestine. This one. Looks amazing. You just go down the line, they have a number of different goat dishes. One of the interesting dishes is the kini, kini lao? Kilawin. Kilawin, kilawin. Oftentimes made with seafood, but you can make it with anything. I guess yeah. it's, it's more of like a, a style the of preparation. The with the skin and the liver of the goat, I'm sure with vinegar and seasonings, um, that's almost like a goat ceviche. We gotta get all the goat dishes. We're gonna have a full nose to head, goat meal experience here. Yeah, like before, like once a week. Awesome. And what's your favorite dish to eat here? Goat head and the fried pork. Yes, nice. Let's go eat. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> How's the food? Delicious. Delicious. The heads. Heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How often, how often do you come here? Once a week. Once a week, Once yes, a week. yes. <laughs> you guys, take yeah, care, man. Oh. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. What a just paradise of goat. Is goat, is goat something that you'll find commonly, or is it more of a rare delicacy? In a way, it's a bit rare, but yeah, but there, we can find goat sometimes. But yeah, this is one is a specialized store. So. And especially the heads, yeah, that's, yeah. A that's a real. That's a rare one. Because we saw, I mean, we were focusing on all goat, but we really saw the process of the head. We should eat the head first while it's hot and fresh. And again, just all of those spices have simmered down. All of the, the chilies you can see have just dissolved into the liquid, the tomato sauce, the pineapple juice. And you can see how that head is just like braised until the meat is just falling off it. Even some of the bone is bare because the, the meat has already just started to disintegrate. It's gonna be so tender. All, oh, nice, nice. Yeah. the teeth. Yeah. Oh, the tongue is kind of hanging yeah. out below. Yes, that one too. The tongue is good too, oh yeah. Hi. Oh man, John, the experience with the head. Yeah. Even the nose. The, the nose is. Yeah. This nose is. The meat is falling out of the nose. Yes. The oh, look at that tongue, that jaw. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> it's splashing. Maybe a little bit of the cheek, a little bit of the brains, all in one bite. Yeah. yeah. Let's get some. Cheek, brains, and juice. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Good. Oh wow. It melts in your mouth. Kind of sweet and sour and has that really amazing like braised flavor to it. That melts wow. in your mouth though. You don't need to you don't need to chew it. Oh it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. I'm gonna tear into the next the next guy. That cheek. The cheek material. 
Oh, you want to drench it in that sauce, and there's ginger in there and garlic. I'll put this onto maiz, the corn, and then you want to smash on some of these other chilies. Add some of these chilies. Bump up the, the spiciness. Tear it in. Oh, oh, I got some of the, I think I got some of the rooftop of the mouth in that bite. <laughs> the rooftop, the, you can see the texture. Mm. Mm. It's so tender. Oh, and such a like, <laughs> such a balance of flavor. Yeah. So many different textures of the goat head. Even the ginger in there really makes a difference. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ginger, yeah. pineapple juice. The pineapple juice, oh yeah. yeah. That's what's giving it that yeah, tartness. Mm. That tart and sweetness. Mm. So we have the kilawin, and what's in this recipe? It's a liver and skin. The liver and skin, and that would be vinegar? Mm -hmm. Vinegar, of course. Vinegar? The, okay. the, the kinilaw is a, the, the equivalent in vinegar, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So that's... Goat ceviche, yeah. Mm. That vinegar and ginger combination. Oh, it's awesome. Awesome. Rubbery, bouncy textures. <laughs> the irony texture of the liver. Yeah, and the face, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the way. Oh, it's mm, the collagen delicious. there, delicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I love about this restaurant is they make use of every single part. Nothing is discarded. It's, Everything is used from the goat, right? Yeah, it's uh, literally nose to tail, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nose to tail. Okay, we have the caldereta. This is another famous goat dish preparation in the Philippines. Like a like a stew, right? Yes, I a mean, stew, yeah. There's definitely tomato in there. They have sometimes potatoes and carrots, and um, and then it's cooked until the goat is really fall apart. Four hours, yeah. Mm. 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 Everything is melting your mouth tender here. It's just, man, what I love about the, the caldereta is it's it's so tender, but it's not mm. not overcooked. It's not mushy. It's just that that kind of like stewed down until it has that. That, um, That's right. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Really ultra tender taste to it and, and texture to it. True, true. Nothing mushy. And then you can always chase with <laughs> yes, these chilies. If you want it more yes. uh, spicier, yes. you know, it's the... <laughs> That's what I love. There's always a, a bowl of fresh chilies that you can just increase the flavor, bump up the heat in your mouth with every single bite. Mm. And these chilies are amazing too. Mm. They, they really have a nice kind of fruity, fruity flavor to them. So we have a few more dishes to try yeah. and then we have a feast to eat. I want to say, yeah, thank you all for bringing me to this amazing restaurant here in Cebu to, to eat goat. And we're going to just sit here now and devour the rest of this meal. This is what you call paklai, it's on Thai, but this is really the intestine of um, of the goat. Yeah, yeah, it's like a stew made of intestine, they have carrots, ginger, and of course, liver. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you have the fried. Oh, try green chili this time. That kind of has a bit of a sweet taste, sweet and tomatoey. But again, everything is cooked down until it melts in your mouth. You got a bit of a bounce from that that um, tripe. Hmm. Oh, it slides off the bone. Oh, the tender fattiness of that rib. What is this? Dynamite. It's like Dynamite. green chili spring rolls. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dangerously tasty. Salty, crispy, oily. You got the flavor of the green chili. It's not really spicy, but you have the flavor of the green chili. And then the minced pork in there to enhance the flavor. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's really tasty though. That's how I mean, you eat dynamite. <laughs> the dynamite is really That's tasty. How Mark mm -hmm. eat dynamite. Mm. So this is jackfruit, kinilaw. Wait, what's the difference between kinilaw and kilawin? 
Oh. Of course. <laughs> But I think this is uh, you. You roast it. I mean, you, you grill. You grill. Grill uh, lightly. Grill first before you chop it. Another dish I was very interested to try. I saw they had it at the front, and I had to order it. It's young jackfruit, which is then also cooked or prepared uh, kini lao style with vinegar and then with onions and tomatoes in there, and I think ginger as well. This is the non-goat dish. Mm. 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 Oh man, the acidity of the vinegar, that combination with the ginger, and then the, the unripe jackfruit is almost, I mean, starchy like a potato, but so many more textures in there. Mm. And it's like creamy and milky at the same time. Mm. Oh, you gotta muscle it, like opening, opening up oh, a durian. Yeah. It's like opening up a durian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the brain is intact, and we, we especially wanna go in for those the eyeballs, which is another delicacy. Carlo, yeah, we just got an eyeball. Mm. 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 Oh, mm. so mm. gelatinous. Yeah. yeah, the eye is incredible. Oh, it just melts in your mouth. It's so fatty and gelatinous and flavorful. Like it, the eyeball has absorbed all of that flavor. Butter. <laughs> yeah. Really good. It melts in your mouth. Mm. Man, that's tasty. And the owner here and his wife. Thank you so much for having us in your hospitality. <laughs> your recipes are delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very say. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it's always a good sign when the local police force eats here too. Man, what a spot. People come here with families, with groups, with friends to enjoy. I mean, and if there's one thing that I saw that every table ordered, especially if they're eating in, not taking out, it's the goat head. I mean, that's what they, they sell the most of and that's what they're prized for. And also the caldereta, those are the two dishes you cannot miss. Everything else is side dishes, but everything else is also delicious. What a place, the friendliness. I love sitting here under this mango tree, enjoying the delicious food. Hello. After that just amazing goat meal, Carlo is gonna take us around to some really local street food snacks, especially maybe some desserts. Uh, the process is gonna be really cool. Carlos, he really specializes and supports uh, local uh, small vendors, and so he's gonna take us around. We're gonna eat a few things to, to complete and to continue with this food tour today. Hey guys, we're here at the Abeliana uh, National School, and we're, ha we're having hotcakes. Uh, he's one of the original seller of snacks here. He's been selling hotcakes for 20 years. Oh. This is Ramil. Oh. He's been oh, selling hot cakes for children. Or, oh, yeah, he's cooking now. Okay. Oh, he's got the batter. Doing this for 20 years. Uh, it's not so children Oh, okay, so you keep it spinning. It's almost like, ah, because it's on a tilt, and it's this big iron hot griddle that just is on a rotating, this is like a spinning, spinning pancake. <laughs> That's amazing, rotating pancake. And it's kind of like, it reminds me of one of those, uh, a ceramic wheel where they turn the wheel and make the ceramics pottery but that is just the perfect vessel for making pancakes as fast as possible because you could just spin your pan rotate it and it drops on that batter yes. 
Oh, hot and fresh. That's a really hot cake right off the griddle. And then as soon as you get it, he as soon as you get it, order, he then wipes on some peanut butter and dips it in sugar like rapidly. Oh, it's soft. It's like a glaze. That forms kind of a, a glaze. Yeah. And almost like sandwich style. You get two of them, right? Yes, you eat yes. it like a sandwich? Yes. Like a little... Oh, so hot. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's really good. It's gooey and fluffy. It's hot and fresh. You got that little bit of peanutty flavor to it? Yes, yes. A little bit of butter, yes. Good butter. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is good bear. It's a nice consistency. It's kind of buttery as well. That's really good. He's an amazing man. <laughs> Definitely. Come here and support him. It's only five pesos each, so it's like 10 pesos. And he also sells juice for five to 10 pesos as well. So for a kid with only 20 pesos, he can have a yeah, really feeling snack already. So Great. amazing. Great. Salamat, salamat. Salamat. Next up, we're gonna try something. It's called bibinka. It is a coconut rice, rice cake, uh, cake. Rice flour. Rice yeah, flour. Yeah, okay. yeah, rice flour and sugar. It's like yeah, it's a rice cake. Yes, yeah, made of coconut, rice flour, sugar. Oh, hello. Oh, and we got here at the perfect time. She's about to make a fresh batch. Uh, so she's putting, she has these little molds. They're almost like little cupcakes. She puts a little banana leaf in the center, then takes that, the batter is actually very runny. Uh, she pours it into the center and then puts it into the tray and that's gonna go into the, the oven, the wood-burning oven, on all on a bicycle. Okay. And she's got she's gonna burn wood and also coconut shells. She's just starting up the, the fire on the oven, one of the coolest bicycle ovens you'll see. <laughs> Man, it's just so creative, so resourceful. And they're now stuffing that fire with uh, like scrap wood and coconut shells to burn them, preheating the oven, preheating the trays. And our fresh batch of bibinka is about to go into the oven. All right, here it comes. It's going in. Okay. That is a hot cake. That has to be one of the coolest bakeries I've ever seen in the whole world. Just <laughs> so resourceful, amazing, so amazing. creative. Yes. And she just lets that fire blaze, pulling the coconut batter rice cakes in and out. And you gotta see this close up. Um, it's kind of oily, that coconut milk. It's kind of fluffy. It kind of chars and crispifies on the top. Oh, it's hot and fresh right out of the oven. Yes. All right, Carlo. Hot and fresh. Cheers. Bibinka. Bibinka. 
Oh. <laughs> Feels like it's on fire. It's so hot. Mmm. Oh. It's really amazingly smoky. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's smoke. <laughs> it's on fire. It's on fire. And then it's like it's gooey and fluffy. The crust is crunchy. Yeah. yeah. And then it's kind of sticky and, yeah. and, and fluffy all at the same time. Whew. That's hot and fresh. Oh, and this is such a cool place as well. People are so friendly. <laughs> She's, they're just so cool. And there's such a community here. Everybody knows each other. Um, yeah. It's when fantastic. she left, the, you know, the, someone uh, covered for her. <laughs> yeah, like somebody just, the owner was gone for a little while. And somebody <laughs> hanging out here just started helping. <laughs> yeah, it's such a cool place. How long has she been selling? So how long um, been selling the Maligia, miss? 10 years. She's been selling the bingo 10 years. She's been selling for 10 years. And, and she, she you said she starts at 3 a.m. Yes. Every day, Miga. 3 a.m. and sells until what time? Uh, until when she's going to In the evening? Wow. Wow. Does she sleep? Uh, 3, 3 a.m. until 9, 9 p.m. Wow. Oh man, just the... Oh, because she's, she's supporting a lot of students. Her kids wow. are students, so wow. she wants to work. Wow. And, yes. and is she here every day? Every day. And where are we? Where are we, Carla? We're in Tabuan Public Tabuan Market. Tabuan Public uh, Market. Yes, the known fish, uh, dried fish uh, market, but... Of course, she, she moves around. Here. She yes. can move around for sure. But yes. but try to find her. She's yes. in her spot talk here. about talk about hard working. Three imagine hours baking wow. on the street from wow. three a.m. till nine p.m. Oh, Eighteen hours of work. That's, yeah, 18, 18 oh. hours. That's amazing. that is absolutely amazing. Awesome. Yeah, she is she is an incredible lady. She's Nelpa. Oh, Nelpa. Rafael. Salamat po. Salamat po. That was delicious. Oh, and that's gonna wrap up this meal. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, make sure you go check out my friend Carlo from Kalami Cebu. He is uh, one of the great food bloggers locally and really supports local restaurants. And so go check him out. Go watch his content as well. And thank you also for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos and also stay tuned we are eating our way through Cebu there's going to be a lot of delicious Filipino food coming up that you're not going to want to miss thanks again for watching um, see you on the next video